I can help myself from positive man and to avoid any or any of the middle growth of my physical health. I intend to develop self discipline in order to bring the best of myself and others. I intend to use my learning class constructively and offensively to help myself and my fellow man and never to be abusive or offensive. And 50 jumping jacks around the room. So you get a 10 foot mirror, 10 foot wall, 10 foot senior, 10 foot window, 10 back to the mirrors again, and then you'll be totally still. Bottom problem here, everybody ready? Go!
accuracy. So you might know that it's a sidekick, but if I do it and I go, here's my sidekick, did I do a sidekick very accurately? No. No, right? I didn't see really good formula. And then the third thing is intensity. Say intensity. Intensity. Right? And intensity means that you're performing it strong. You're performing it confidently. If when you're doing something, I'm looking at everyone else to see where I'm supposed to be, then I'm showing a lack of confidence. I have to show that I know the curriculum, that I can perform it intensely strong. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Right? And especially for three belts, because you guys get ready to enter the advanced training level. If you're looking sloppy at this level, there's no way I'm going to let you into the advanced training level, right? Because my expectations of round belts are about to jump a whole other notch, right? So your goal in this class is to show me that you're ready to go to that advanced training level. Make sense? Yeah. Come back from five. Four, five. Four, five. Four, and jump right back up. Yeah. All right, let's see a simple stance. Sushi. Yeah. Hands to the guard. Six count kicks. Ready? One. Yeah. Just breathe. Two. Yeah. Two. Three. Yeah. So just breathe. That means when I say one, two, three, you guys are just going. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Understand? Yeah. All right, let's do it again. Hands to the guard. Start back at one again. Ready? One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Two, two, four. Two. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Yeah. Six, and hands back to the guard. Do it again. Ready? One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Yeah. And do it again. Hands to the guard. Ready? One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Yeah. And hands to the guard. One more time. Ready? One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Six. Yeah. And jump right to the very center of your square. Very center of your square. And <laughs> neutral stance. Shish! Yeah. Come kick. X block. Yeah. Ready? One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Five. Zoom team. 
and the strong boxes in team.
Now run house kicks. So we're going to add on three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all the rest of them. Make sure you continue to turn that foot because that detail is there with every single one of the kicks in this form. Is every time your foot hits that back one. Make sense? Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're going to start right back to the beginning, but you're going to add in the other kicks as well. So ready, back to that spot, that spot. And starts off with five kicks, ready? And one, two, and now roundhouse kicks, point the toes, three, four, and now hook kick roundhouse kick, full range, five, And six. Slow side kick. Seven. Together for the next block. Make it strong. Yeah. 
the general denomination is showing psychic of the crime. So instead of it being that I do the kick and I just gonna go one, two, three, which really was the three spots of psychic, it should be psychic of the crime. You can see the difference between the kick. Make sense? Yes, sir. All right. Um, would you guys like me to share with you a couple of secrets of success? Right, so I want to share with you what we call the secrets of stratospheric success. And the first one being the law of value. Now, with the law of value, and first off, value is like adding value to somebody. Like right? you're doing something nice to somebody, their life is better because you are around. Right, and the law of value is that you always want to give more value than what you receive. Right? So instead of me showing up in a situation and thinking, well, what's in it for me? I want to be the person that's saying, well, what can I give to that? Right? So how would I add more value, let's say, at school? How would I add value to a classroom situation in school? I don't um, say can I be bullied uh, for my Okay, good. Like right? helping your friends stand up to a bully. That's really good. Okay. How about Katie? Uh, right. Good, good. Listening to your teacher. What could be another one? This? That's all right. Doing your homework, encouraging others, maybe helping others if they need a hand, right? How about at home? How can you add value at home? Michael? Speak up. Doing your chores. Really good one, right? And maybe without even being asked, right? Or certainly if mom asked the first time, doing it right away. Dylan? Right? After they ask you how many times, by the way. 100 times they should have to ask you? Seven? One, right, of course, one, right? You ask the one time you get a right? What else? Give me one other one, right? What do you think, Kyle? Uh, maybe if they actually want to help you Okay, good, right? Or in like other decorations that just even cleaning up the house, right? And by the way, you know, how about if you all have chores at home? Yeah, and some of them are simple chores, right? I have to clean my dishes off of the table when I'm done. Like simple things like that. Doing the things you know you're supposed to do without even mom or dad asking, right? And then maybe offering to help out from time to time. How about in the karate class? How can you add value to the karate class? This? Right? Having good intensity, definitely, Caden. Really good one, right? That's an excellent one. Setting a good example. How else do you suppose? Katie. Right? Working hard, right? If I'm in class and I'm always working my hardest, Right, number one, that's going to spread the energy, it's going to spread to those around me. And then on top of that, maybe I practice at home, so I always have this stuff down, and now, did I just do this? Yeah, I did <laughs> Right? And now I come to class, and I know my stuff. So anyone that's around me, if they even have to look at me, I know I'm doing it right, so that other people can watch me and know that they're doing it right as well. Right? Remember, the law of value is that I want to give more value than what I receive back from other people. Right? And when I can do that, then I really start to become successful. Many people think successful people are people that are go getters, they go and they make things happen. But a truly successful people is somebody that gives a lot of value to those around them. The people that are around them, their life is better because you are around. Right? Everybody last hand, not and proud as a dedicated student in the martial arts. I'm not a proud, I will live a grateful black belt. I live a grateful black belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, and indomitable spirit. What is gold? Team. And you're right, we didn't get in touch. So, 